Hey everyone, Gina Crafter, District Technology Coach for Matt Um, I wanted to show you how to create a sandbox uh, course within Schoology that is not affiliated with Skyward. It's not going to sync to Skyward so that you can start to play around and start to build and create and just see some of those things that you could do within Schoology. I'm going to go to uh, matching.schoology.com and once I enter in my username and my password, I'm going to log in. And then you're going to get this home screen that has like your recent activity, kind of like um, your news feed, like on Facebook or Instagram or anything like that. Um, but I want to create a sandbox course. So I'm going to go up to courses and then the blue bar. And I'm going to go to my courses. It's on the far right hand side. So I can see these are all the courses that I am enrolled in, but I want to make a course that I can just kind of practice and play in. So on the right hand side over here, I'm going to go to create course. It's a blue button. And I'm going to make this sandbox. I'm actually going to make this craft sandbox. So sandbox just means that it is a place that you can play around in. Um, it is not going to link to anything. It's not going to sync to anything, but you can create things. And then just like sand, whenever you're finished and you don't like it, you can just wipe it away. There's no harm done. Um, it's going to require a section name. I'm fine with section one because it's not synced to anything. Uh, I'm going to pick a subject area. And I'm going to pick a level. And then I'm going to go in this grading periods. I'm going to go all the way down, scroll all the way down to sandbox. You can see that this is open for like nine years. So we'll have plenty of time kind of to play in this um, and it's not going to affect anything. When I'm finished with that, I'm going to hit create. And this is going to give me my sandbox. This is a course that is completely empty, um, doesn't have any members in it or anything like that. Um, I'm going to just start to kind of play around and build some things just to help me prepare for, you know, what I'm going to have to be able to do this later. And so I'm going to go to this add materials and this is where I can make folders, and assignments and different things like that. I'm going to add a folder. Should be that first option on add materials. Um, and I'm going to make this something that I think um, is going to be important for both kids and parents, um, something that they might want to access frequently. So I'm going to make this um, technology resources. I can see I'm also able to kind of color code this and change the different colors. I'm going to go with purple and I'm just going to give a little description here um, so that uh, people are able to see what this folder is going to be about and it is going to be located directly underneath the actual title of this folder. I'm going to give it a date. I'm just going to go ahead and have this for today. Today is the 10th um, and I'm not going to add an end date because I want people to be able to access this at any point. Now we have a couple options here for the availability. Published means that whenever I hit that create button, that means that anybody that is a member in my course can see that folder immediately. Anything within it, any changes, they can see it immediately. Unpublished means that I am the only one that can see it right now. Nobody else can see this um, except for me. And then whenever I'm ready, I can publish it. If you're gonna be working ahead, you can have this folder um, to be published on a specific date um, and you could also have it only available from this time to this time if it's a folder or a resource that you don't want people to be able to access all the time. I like to do unpublished just so that I feel like I can make changes and different things in that folder um, without people maybe being confused about where things went. So I'm going to hit create. I can see that my color is not very bright and it also says unpublished directly underneath it. So I know that this means I'm the only one that can see this. Now if I was ready to publish this, I can go over to this little wheel and I can hit publish. That's going to then say, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. And then anybody who then accesses this will see a published folder. I just refresh my page and now I can see that it is published and that anybody who is in this could then see my folder. I'm going to click on this folder 
And then this is where I can dump all of my resources. Anything that I would want people to be able to access, I can put here. I can add specific assignments for students that are from Google. Um, I can add in files or links. I can add in discussion questions. This is kind of where it's going to house all of your different things um, within your folder on Schoology.